Hi, I'm Lauren Fix. Have you ever gotten out of your car and got zapped? Well, I can show you how to control static electricity, and it's pretty easy. Let's first explain static electricity. It's the buildup of an electric charge between two surfaces. Now, you may remember as a kid, you'd rub your socks on the carpet and you'd shock your sister or your brother. Well, this is something that happens in a car. It can be frustrating, and it can also be dangerous. Pumping gas improperly can be dangerous, especially when you're talking about static electricity because the rare but potential danger caused by the discharge of the static electricity during refueling. So you may have heard or seen the signs that say, you know, don't use your phone or don't get back in your car. Well, the truth is static electricity in gas stations has caused motorists a lot of problems. And the first thing you want to do is when you pump the gas, you want to stay outside the car. The last thing you want to do is get back in your car and then come out to put the nozzle back. By going back into your car, you create a fresh charge. That's why you want to make sure to stay outside the vehicle because it's really the spark that ignites the gasoline vapors. The vapors burn, not the liquid. Static electricity can happen by just getting out of the car. And a lot of it's because of synthetic materials like modern fleece and nylon, and they will increase the risk of you getting a static shock. Here's what you can do to limit static electricity. When you exit the car, grip a metal frame of the door for a couple seconds. Before. Reach up and rest your hand on the outside of the roof or somewhere on the metal of the car. Or you can even touch the glass as you exit. This will discharge any electricity as well with no shock. Also, you can try using an anti-static laundry spray on your car seats and your floor. This common problem can be solved simply without being shocked. For more information, go to our website. I'm Lauren Fix, The Car Coach.